here. Um, okay, so first of all, I'm gonna have to just say one thing. I'm sick as a dog. So if you see a lot of like dry skin from me blowing my nose, those are not boogers. That's just dead fucking skin that has been scratched off the surface of my face. But yeah, so my sister is still really like ill from the last few days. We've had some crazy shows, but we all got like really ill. And Sam's also wiped out. So it's just gonna be me here today. But yeah, happy Sunday, everyone that's on here. And if you join on later, happy Sunday too. So I'm just gonna go through some of like the old tour shit that we've had before on tours and try to see what random clothes and things I can find. And hey, Dale, what's up? I hope you're good. Also, I've got some names on here. Right on this, this door over here, sorry. <laughs> we got Masaru, we got Roger Branson. Steve Johnson, David Smay, Julie Quaskery, Dale. And yeah, hey everyone. So I'm gonna go in this cupboard. Some random shit. Oh my god. So we have these boots from Well, they're not from America. David! Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you very, 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 very much. Thank you. And Dale, oh my god. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to watch out on my skin as well. But yeah, so I'm going to have a little closet tour of, of some random stuff from years before that we used to wear. So this we should actually probably bring to America. But thank you. Oh my God. For all the super chatters. Thank you. Um, I hope everyone's having a good time. And yeah, David and Dale, I'm going to watch out on my two. On my boobs. Okay, I can't really see them. Well, I'm right. So Dale. And thank you. Thank you very, very much. We have four shows coming up this week. Sunday is my birthday. And oh my God, Heinz and Garnelli, thank you. Um, the first show this week is going to be on Thursday. It's in Huddersfield. And Richardson, you're really, oh my God, okay, I'm writing your names on this damn door here with me. Okay, hold up, hold up. So we got Richardson, you're really. <laughs> Got David Smay again. Thank you. And Dale. Thank you very much. Got Hunts. Oh my God. Wayne Nixon. Thank you. Yeah, so we have four shows coming up this week. On Sunday, it's going to be a themed show. So you can either come to the show as a superhero or as me because it's my birthday. Um, whatever floats your boat, it's going to be fucking fun. Um, oh lord, let me just get back up here. And gone neatly, I'm gonna write your name. And then let's get into this cupboard. And Dale, thank you again. Oh my god. Oh shit. I hope also anyone else that got ill over this last week has been feeling. All right. I'm so bad with my hands and phones. I always like end up switching things like. Losing the video, I'm like, fuck, what did I do? So please bear with me. But thank you, everyone. Um, and yeah, it's always cool to see everyone, even though it's going to be just me today. My sister's energy is here. She's just passed out, though, because she is, yeah. It's weird. I was the first one out of us to get sick. And then I got better really quickly. And I think it's because I drink whiskey and they don't. And hey, Mickey. Ohio. I hope everyone's good. Um, and yeah, happy Sunday. Happy Monday if it's already Monday. And watch out for the monsters that hide out there. Well, let's see. I know that there are some spiders in here. <clears throat> and I am not looking forward to meeting them. So, oh my god! These are my fucking favorite shoes. Whoa! Okay, so these are shoes that I had years ago. And I am actually going to be wearing them on this tour. God damn. That's fucking cool. Well, terrible light in that cupboard. <laughs> um, what, what did you say, Dale? I was very tired last night as I think it all caught up with me. Shit, drank more fluids like you. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Water and whiskey definitely help. Um, but yeah, so everybody, let's go. Let's check out this closet here. It's going to be some interesting shit. Um, and it's a very random live stream, but you know what? We are busy sorting out things for when we tour America next month and looking for like other things we can turn into outfits. So here we go. You got me today. 
I swear to God, if there is a spider in any of these outfits, I'm going to swear and I'm going to say some really unsavory words. Oh, look at this. That is sick. It's like proper vintage shit. This looks like something that, um, I don't know, like a soldier or some shit? I don't know, but it's heavy. Some heavy shit. There's a red one as well. Oh, God. Maybe I should try it on. I might. Oh, my arm feels like it's falling off itself there. And then we got some silver boots up here. Do you guys reckon <clears throat> on the tour we should bring these out again? They were really fucking cool. The only thing is they're so fucking long. But they're they're great fun. And David says they closed down the warehouse today, so I got a random nail. Oh, well, rock on. And I'm glad. I'm glad to see you here. And Bill B, thank you. I'm going to write your name on the door. <laughs> yeah, we're very excited. So we have some more shows in the UK. Next month, we head out to the USA. Write your name on here, Bill B. We head out to the USA. And then we are back in the UK. We're also going to be touring Europe and Japan, and then America again later on in the year. And Daniel, thank you. I hope that you're feeling a lot, lot better. I feel good, except I just hope I don't um, have any stomach issues. We are all having uh, a musical tummy earlier. Daniel, father. I would laugh my ass off if I ever just farted like on a live stream. I would hate it, but I would laugh. Um, burping's one thing, but <laughs> I'm not gonna do the other thing. And Willie Woodthorpe, what? Well, thank you so much. We got Willie Woodthorpe up here. Oh my god, I love how I wasn't even showing it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, and also while we're here, because I'm ill, please, anyone who has really good home remedies, um, for, like, getting rid of a flu, cold, or COVID, please could you... Share your wisdom. If you've ever like had a really bad flu or cold and you have a remedy that fucking works, say it in the comments and I will try it. I know for some people they make a hot toddy. I don't really like warming up whiskey, but I will just drink it neat and it, it really helps. So any remedies and stuff, please let me know. And also if I do burp randomly on the live stream, it's because I was drinking Pepsi and I probably will burp and I'm sorry in advance. But it's going to happen. And Georgina, thank you. Thank you very, very much. I hope you're also feeling a lot better. I feel kind of better, but sort of also like funky. Not a good funky. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so I'm going to write your name on here. Oh, and I'm writing terribly. So i got nothing to press down on here. That was terrible. Jeez, my handwriting went to shit. Okay, sorry about that. So anyway, oh, hot water, lemon and honey. Yeah, that one goes. Get under covers and stay warm. Yes, I know. So um, sleeping sometimes isn't my favorite thing when I'm that ill because you just get post-nasal drip and then you keep coughing and it actually just feels even worse. But resting, yes, raw garlic. Ooh, okay. Honey, I'm going to try that shit. And Brian, thank you. I'm saving the bourbon for my birthday. Thank you very much in advance for my gift. It's so fucking cool. Um, but I'm going to drink that on my birthday. So I'm going to write your name on here too. Brian Gunter. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I have like frogs and like weird creatures tap dancing in my throat because of the stupid phlegm and stuff. Sorry about that. Shot of whiskey, honey, lemon juice drink. Hmm. Vitamin C. Okay, I'm going to try. And Sam B, oh my God. And thank you. Everyone, thank you very much for the super chats. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to write your name on here, Sam B. I want to see all the random places we can write everyone's names on during this tour. So you guys will have been, like, in every country. <laughs> drink lots of water. Okay. Oh, good here. Thanks. Beautiful. Was not even ill. Just had a headache. Oh, shit. Uh, well, I hope Lucio's flight is going great. And I hope that your headache and everything goes. But yeah, so let's check this out. We also, on in this cupboard here, we have these jackets. 
we have had these jackets for a bit. There's like even paint marks in them. We've had these jackets for probably nine years and we'll wear them again. They're really fun on the toe and stuff. And then this is something that my sister once got at a charity shop. To be honest with you, I would never wear this. This is like, if it was full sleeves, awesome. This just reminds me of like a Hagrid from Harry Potter type of jacket, which I hate. Like, I'm so sorry. I do not wear that type of shit. Hell no. And then these jackets are so fucking cool. But the only thing that I hate is like, you know, when you, you use um, like a leather alternative because you don't want to harm animals, then some of them aren't very good quality, so they crack. But otherwise, still fabulous. Ooh. So I might wear that at some point on the tour. And then, oh God, how bad. Some other crazy shit. Oh my god. Okay, so back in the day, also when we did pop music, we had these boots as well. And they are so fucking awesome. I used to think these were very high when I was like a few years ago. I used to think these were really, really, really tall. And you can sort of see some of the glitter coming out. But damn, these are serious fucking thigh high boots. I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna fucking wear it. I'm gonna bring this out on the stand tour. And then we have this other top. It's like from the 80s. I'm actually gonna stand this down because I don't know if y'all will still see me. That's the only thing. God damn it. Why is this thing so difficult? Okay, wait. How do I shift this thing? How do I shift it? How do I shift this thing? Oh, here we go. Okay, I don't know. No, now I'm like having to crouch down and shit. Okay, so we have, so you're just gonna have a very random Sunday with me. Bear with me, everybody. We have this weird like 80s shoulder pads type jacket thing going on here. I kind of like it. Darling, darling, darling. Look at my shoulder pads. Don't fuck with me. Fuck with me and my shoulder pads will obliterate you. Jesus, I look like I'm fucking playing football here. <laughs> so you can have your shoulder pads like this or you can go full crazy. The devil. <laughs> no, they are pretty cool though. I wonder what the obsession with fucking shoulder pads were. Maybe the silhouetted gay people. Cool. But yeah. Um, Let's see what else is happening here, man. I'm gonna read some more comments. And good evening, John Kovacs and everybody. Um, let's see, Hans, you're an amazing guy. Oh, that yeah, Hans is really sweet. And I'm gonna burp, I'm sorry. Okay, it's not happening. It's like a sneeze. You feel it coming and it doesn't happen. Okay. We also have these boots. But the only thing is, I'll tell you a secret. These shoes and drunk chef Jeff, thank you. I'm gonna fucking write your name on this door. Okay, these shoes are like two sizes too small for me, and I used to wear them on stage. But the only thing is, if you've ever worn shoes that are too small for you, you know that kind of makes you off balance, and especially as they're high heels as well. I just I remember my toes were like bent inwards, and I was just like fucking hell. I think I fell. It was pretty funny though. So drunk chef Jeff, I'm gonna write your name. And everyone else who is a Taurus, meaning that your birthday is May, May to the 21st of June. No, wait, from the 21st of April to the 21st of May, that's the Taurus. Anyone that's a Taurus as well, happy, happy birthday month. But wait, so I'm gonna write drunk chef Jeff over here. Sorry, it's very difficult holding all this shit and like writing. And Eric, thank you. Eric, I'm good. Um, I'm just trying to like look through all the cupboards to find some interesting stuff for on the tour because we're going to reuse some things and revamp them up and shit. But yeah, and thank you. And I'm going to write your name too. I hope you are good. But yeah, so we are very excited for this week's shows. 
And then um, we have some more, obviously, after these four, but I, I just want to focus on the next four. And also, there's someone writing some weird, strange thing. I think you're trying to say something sexual. Take your dick and mend it up your ass. Sorry. But anyway, so, how old is that stuff? A lot of it is from, like, the first tour, like, in 2015 in the UK. And then some of it is from, like, 2012 and stuff. So it's old. It's like old shit, man. But it's cool. Um, what else do we have in here? Nothing. I, I need to get a charging bank because my phone's on its last. And also, Roger Branson, thank you. You like those glittery boots? Okay, we are fucking bringing them on. So maybe we should have them this week. The shows. They are so fucking cool. Look at that glitter. Look at that damn glitter. Sam, I'm sorry to wake you. Could you bring me a charging bank, Sam? Thank you. Um, but yeah, so I need to just... You don't know where my charger is? There's one in the wall next to where I'm sleeping. Oh my gosh. But yeah, so everyone, thank you very much for tuning in. Oh my gosh, fancy seeing me in the clouds. God damn, what am I doing in here? Oh. Foam fresh, muck off. If only it worked for people. But yeah, Sam, check these boots. People are saying that we should bring them out. Yeah. We should, I'm so. So here we go. We put this charger in. Thank you, Sam. Okay. Just plug this little charging thing in. Hold up, hold up. Oh, Lord. Okay. Here we go. So, I'm going to put this up. Ah, actually, hold it. Um, again, everyone, thank you very much for joining me on this very random live stream. But hey, that is life. Life, you never know what's going to happen. I was not expecting to get ill, and my sister also as well. Otherwise, she would be awake and running around. And then these shoes, my sister has worn to kind of death. So they're like open at the back. I have a pair somewhere. And she was like, well, can I have them? I was like, mm, I'll give it to her. Mine might be in South Africa. There is a buff. Oh. And then these shoes just make me feel like I'm going to a wedding. But I saw them once in Germany and I love them, man. So I had to get them. Um, and then on the tour last year, I kind of lived in these shoes. I say vegan. But they got fucked up. <laughs> On, on the tour, like, all your shoes end up getting destroyed. Oh, my God. And these are the most disgusting shoes I've ever seen in my whole life. I'm sorry. And my sister loves them. These shoes, I don't know what it is about them, like these jelly shoes that people like. I mean, the glitter part is cool. And it's cool that it's a shoe made out of, like, Plastic, but this is literally just like a crazy Jesus sandal and it's not cool. My sister loves them when she wears them. It's the only time I'm like, can you just not walk close to me because I don't want to be seen with someone wearing those. Those are bad. I got my Hello Kitty Converse sneakers. I brought them with me and I have them here, Daniel. And then <clears throat> I got these at a charity shop years ago. They're very funny. I dig them. <laughs> And then we have some other tour boots. Oh, I just fucking hit myself in the face. Um, these are also really cool. I love the red boots. And then what else do we have in here? I'm a little bit worried about the spiders, to be honest. Because I know there's spiders in here. Talking about birthdays, I already have... What? <sighs> My birthday present for you. Oh, shit. Oh, you're so sweet, but thank you. That's really, really sweet of you, Eric. Thank you. Georgina, please tell me you do not like those jelly shoes. They are disgusting. I'm sorry. What the fuck? No. How do you guys wear that shit? Daniel, I I would have agreed with you because I don't understand how anyone can like them, but people do. I mean, each to their own, but for me, they're not comfortable and they're also just bad. But yeah, 
So everybody, thank you very much again for being here. And Drunk Chef Jeff, I will indeed. Sam fucking rocks. Sam, the thing though, Sam is more than like just the mom. She's just, she's amazing. Everything that she does, the amount of hours that Sam drives and then she coordinates and does everything to make sure that the tours and everything are like booked and stuff. It's, it's insane work and it's never ending because obviously so many variables and things happen. So she can make all the plans and that but as we've seen flights get delayed visas don't happen and she still makes miracles happen because it's not easy and thank you bert but yeah so everyone thank you very much for being here with me i love chatting um i do obviously prefer like having my sister with me but still you know it's fun chatting with you guys and uh, we have oh black boots these boots also and they've lasted really well. They're, they're really old as well. Like, we've had them for years. Pretty cool. And then we have... These boots are really awesome. But they get really sweaty because of the material inside of them. So, like, if you are not careful, it's horrendous. We we laughed. We, we used to, like, get, get so sweaty that the shoes, we would just be like, wow, these shoes need to get, like incinerated because it smelled like so bad like there was like a weird smell not like a bad foot smell just like the plastic made it go grim like bad and yeah my sister isn't feeling good at all so she's just sleeping um it's not a good idea if she wakes up and then she's not resting properly like because then it's going to take longer to recover rick langley as amusing as it is when Sam does get angry, the thing is that she does have a brain aneurysm, so I kind of hate it. Like, when people piss Sam off, I want to strangle them or feel like taking them into a corner and taking the butt of a gun and, like, saying, you ever fucking do that again, I'll pop your head off. Obviously, I wouldn't do that, but I do want to. And you might say that's very aggressive. It's just, unfortunately, if something happens to Sam, I don't know what the fuck I would do. I would be devastated. So when people rile her up, I want to take them out to the back and, well, I won't say it because obviously it's not very YouTube friendly, but yeah, sorry. Just some of my, uh... you see, again, I'm just going to say it straight. My sister is very sweet. I'm sweet, but I'm scary. So if ever I say something that might shock you or whatever, I'm worse in person. But I'm just saying, I'm the hugest protector of my sister and also of Sam. So anyone that makes them upset or angry, I'd like to have a word with them, if that makes sense. But yeah, anyway, moving on from that. Sorry, I'm, I'm just very fiercely protective. I don't like stress coming at Sam. So if any shit happens, I'm always like, Sam, let me deal with it. Because I really, I have no tolerance for bullshit. And I don't have a brain aneurysm, so I can get really angry and it's not going to affect me. But Sam, I hate when she has to stress. And Roger's saying, when we saw Sam, when we saw me last time, she definitely looked like she needed a rest. Oh, she did. Sam as well. Sam drove. And I don't know how, because she could barely see out of her eyes. She was just exhausted. And Mickey, arigato gozaimasu. Also, I have a very dynamic personality. So on the one hand, I'm very about dolls and cutesy and happiness and that but also if people are full of shit i'm not afraid to say get fucked so yeah. so also if ever you see me fly off the handle on that it's just my personality don't worry don't stress about it all good um but yeah and thank you i'm just what you see is what you get if you like it cool if you don't well i don't give a fuck but yeah but thank you everyone who does rock on and also i'm digging the purple Sorry, I hate purple as a color, which is ironic, but I like it as an eyeshadow. Don't judge me. But yeah, everyone, thank you again for being here. Um, oh my God. <laughs> and I'm just, thank you. Also, I hope I don't laugh and like bogeys just like fly on my nose because I'm still not 100% better. But yeah, thank you. Um, no, it's not about, a, like, Rick, I'm having a laugh because I, I know the end of that saying, hell hath no fury like a woman's gone. No, I don't consider myself a human. I, I prefer to consider myself as an alien. I just, I don't like people who upset other people, if that makes sense. It, it makes me upset, like, to see that. And 
I I will take away as much stress as I can from Sam because people who upset her, to me, like I said, I would like to take them out to a corner. Have a word. Or more than a word. Good punch. Oh, sorry. But anyway, and Frank, thank you. Thank you very, very much. But okay, I'm all right, Janae. Now, see, I'm getting distracted here. So again, one, one thing about Sam and myself is this. We have... ADHD, so we are thinking of 10 crazy things at once, and it, it's very difficult sometimes, like we'll go everywhere with our thoughts, so bear with me. I'm gonna write your name here, Frank, and thank you. Ooh, thank you very much. Oh, I almost wrote Fran. Sorry, my handwriting has gone to shit because I'm holding this fucking huge, heavy ass fucking power bank. I think it weighs about a kilo, and the gimbal and everything in the hand so i feel very off balanced physically with this shit so here we go uh-huh and thank you but yeah um any news about red or the cats or the baboons and porcupines so our brother is good he ironically well, not really ironically but he also got sick um, so he's also down and like trying to recuperate. The cats are all good. The porcupines have been around and the baboons and we're missing them. And Bert, thank you. Or Brett. I'm so confused because it says Bert and you said I am Bert Rand. Well, thank you. And we love you too. Um, and, but yeah, and thank you. But yeah, what you see is what you get. So <laughs> no filter. Um, it always makes me feel very safe. Well, thank you. And I'm really glad. Like, honestly, the world needs people to just be able to be themselves. But at the same time, if someone is being abusive or oppressive or like passive aggressive, that's probably my least favorite thing in a human being, then I think it needs to be called out. So that if you ever say, if someone ever says something and I'm reading it as a passive aggressive little puss attack, then I on honestly will not be able to not say something it's just like what the fuck so sorry for that but that's just how i am oh no 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 je suis heureuse les gens rire sam sam's making me laugh she's like oh my god no but i i'm just like that i'm sorry um sam did seem a bit stressed in the car but hopefully some rest up yeah see the thing is this the driving is so hectic and when you're already ill and stressed hell but yeah yeah, the drum situation is very stressful. So like we were saying, our drummer is in, our drummer that we were going to go on tour with is still stuck in South Africa. And we had so many songs that we were going to be doing on this tour that we'd like been rehearsing with him, songs from our first album, second, third, and fourth. And it's quite frustrating to now have to do a set list that we were not going to be doing. But now because we are working with the drummers that we've just met or whatever we have to do. So we are trying to find an alternative way around it and hopefully he'll be able to come come back to the UK and get on the road with us. Um, oh no, Brian. Okay, so anyone that's coming down with something, in the comments you guys have all said to drink hot water, lemon, ginger and honey. So I'm gonna do that as well and I suggest everyone does. Did I hear well that Lucho and Daniel and others felt ill as well? Yes. So I think there's like a bad flu wave or COVID or something going around. And a lot of people got sick and we got ill. Um, we got a bad flu. So we're just trying to like recover and get rid of it. But yeah. But my handwriting used to be very good, but now it's terrible as I really write. Oh no, Daniel, you've got the neatest handwriting I've ever seen in my life. I've seen your handiwork on that, the duck that you made us. It's fucking cool. So, mm -mm. you want to see, like, messy handwriting? There you go. Or just actually look at a doctor's handwriting. It's not even um, a myth. It actually, it's all bad. It's so funny. But, yeah, so, anyway, let's get back to the cover. And, David, thank you. You're very fucking sweet. Actually... Thank you very much for that. We're going to go and stock up on vitamin D and vitamin C. Because apparently those are going to be like the best things in zinc. So thank you. David, thank you. I'm going to write your name. Um, what? There's been some crazy weather here in the Midwest and South US. It should calm down before you get here. Oh my God. 
yeah, the UK has been raining, except yesterday and today it was actually not so bad. Um, I think Spinal Tap went through many dramas too. Dude, you don't even understand how many um, like dramas and that, and it's like, it's just bad. I think Nirvana went through about five or six before they got Dave Grohl. That's mad shit, man. Um, it's just frustrating because obviously my sister and I know all our music, we know our songs, and then you paying someone a lot of money and you paying for all the traveling and accommodation and everything, and we even provide the drum kit and that, and then they're not playing the songs as they should be and stuff, and you're just like, fuck. But yeah, uh, it's, it's just shit. But it's fine, we're gonna make a plan. And I'm gonna write, David, I'm gonna write your name. Thank you. Oh my God, and also, does anyone have any recommendations, you know, from like blowing your nose? Like, you know when your nose is just raw? I know you can put Vaseline on there, but like, is there nothing else? Because I feel like the Crypt Keeper, like with dead fucking skin. And you can't exactly like scrub it off because it's all fucking raw. Um, and Audaz, thank you. Oh my God, thank you very, very much. Okay, I'm gonna write your name and on the door. I'm gonna write your name on my skin and the door. Oh, Dave. Thank you. Oh my God. Okay, and also, I like need some extra advice. So, what brand like of, oh shit. What brand of like protein bars and stuff and like health bars are good in America um, for like traveling with? Cause in America, finding vegetarian stuff and like healthy things, pretty tricky so if there's any brands that we should look out for then say it in the comments too please what they have clinics with lotion in it damn okay we do not have that in south africa and i need to look out for it because my skin is raw <laughs> the tornadoes are only clearing a smooth path to travel no problem i just hope we're not there when there's a tornado because as crazy as it must be to witness i'm good and Daniel says, I have to concentrate very hard to be neat now. And writing a long paragraph actually hurts my hands. Oh no, for fuck's sakes. And Bill's saying, I hesitate to even ask, but was looking at the dive bar schedule for your show on the 23rd in Las Vegas. But there are three other bands listed, but not you guys. And wonder what's up. Is it a private show? Um, I'm going to, someone else mentioned that. I'm going to go and check it out. See, <clears throat> I'm just going to say something generally we don't like to put up tour dates too in advance because of things like that happening so we we have no idea about that and now it's out there and that and then people are like oh what's happening we have no idea so then it just creates confusion but i'm gonna i'm gonna double check on it it's it's just sometimes venues will just close down don't fucking let anyone know or they close for fucking renovations and then it's like, well, you could have let the fucking band know, but okay. Et oui, bien sûr, je parle français aussi. C'est ma langue maternelle. And also, hey, Foco, what's up, what's up? But yeah, so I will check that out, Bill. An aloe under the nose. Hmm. I'll try that out. I once tried avocado on my face because they said that it's like really healthy. And I broke out in like one of the worst rashes of my life. I don't know why. So sometimes natural stuff on the skin I'm a little bit worried about like aloe I just aloe should be good I'm just so worried imagine I put aloe on my face and then pew, break out um what whole foods in America organic yeah we will check out for that we didn't see very many of them when we did go to the USA last year oh my god earthquakes in California mm, god damn god fucking damn um, Whole Foods and Sprouts will have vegetarian anything. Okay, we're gonna check that out. And you find them in every stage, right? Because that's important. There's nothing worse than like, you get all excited for something. It's like, no, this does not exist in the state here. Sorry. And Edward, thank you. I'm gonna write your name as well. Okay, let me put this heavy charging bank thingy down. And then let's look for more stuff in the cupboard for the, the tours. We're definitely bringing these fucking boots back out again long ass thigh boots um okay let me write it preach it and thank you oh lord okay wait i'm actually gonna swap hands because 
This hand is dying here. Uh oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very, very fucking much. So we got Frank Sabia up here. We got Brent. We got, I almost said Brad. We got Edward Pritchard. We got Georgina. We got Drunk Chef Jeff. We got Eric Baca. We got Audaz. We got Masaru. We got David Smay. We got Steve Johnson. Julie Craskery. Dale. Oh, oh, see, I'm getting everyone's names twisted. Dale Lammerman. Bill B. Daniel Fuller. Dale Lammerman again. Dwayne Nixon. Garnelli. Rich Signorelli. Hans, David Smay, Summer B, Willie Woodthorpe, Brian Gunter, and also Paul Epson. Goddamn, thank you. Thank you very, very, very fucking much. I'm gonna write your name up here. Thank you. Really fucking appreciate it. So we're gonna load up on like vitamins and stuff. And also get everything ready for the tour in the USA. We are excited. And this week we have four shows coming up on Thursday in Huddersfield. Friday in Lincoln, it's all up north in the UK. Uh, Saturday in Grimsby, I think. Sunday in Hull, H-U-L-L, -L. that's hilarious, sounds like hell. And Sunday's my birthday, so it's gonna be a fun show. Um, everyone dress up if you are coming to the show, or even if you, we all stream as well. Um, if you dress up as a superhero, or if you want as me, any idea or whatever that you want to do, just do it. And she sees sheep. Thank you very fucking much, man. Thank you. I'm gonna write your name too. <laughs> oh Lord, I'm filming myself some strange angles here. We got she sees sheep. I'm gonna write your name. Oh my God, I'm not even watching myself like draw this. We're doing it through the screen, so it looks fucking funny to me. Ooh, so you're gonna see us in Lincoln and Grimsby. God damn, that's gonna be fucking fun. Okay, so anyone who is coming to the show next Sunday, that is my birthday, um, please dress up. It's gonna be fucking fun. We're all gonna dress up. Um, as the tour progresses, obviously we're gonna make the shows more and more like wild. It's just since arriving, it has not been easy. Um, Everything that could go like fucked up has. I was gonna say pear shape, but I think pear shape people are cool. So I didn't see it as a diss. Um, I, I hate that saying, oh, everything's gone pear shape. Pear shapes are awesome. So it's just, it's, yeah, it's been fucking wild. But anyway, we are excited and we just wanna have as much fun as possible with you guys at the shows. And as soon as um, we have our to a drummer, then we will live stream the shows as well. It's just, it's not been easy. Behind the scenes, it's been a lot of stress and shit. And again, that's why I have so much respect to Sam. Like, I don't know how the fuck she deals with it. And so anyone who brings stress near her, I'm like, I hate you. So, not you. Anyone who doesn't, man. But yeah, so anyway, um, your YouTube channel is a good guide for energy bars. Ooh, Flav City. Ooh, thank you. I'm gonna check that out. I mean, we can also try and make some as well, like out of dates and shit, but it's not always like easy to find that shit too. But thank you. Oh my God, Hull is the hometown of the great Mick Ronson. I did not know that. The people in Hull are actually very, very nice. Um, but yeah, Roger Branson, Bill's guitars. Oh yeah. Can't wait, going to have to miss Thursday's show though. Oh my God, Dale. Don't ever come to another show again. I could you. I'm only joking. We are gonna miss you, but we look forward to seeing you again. And both saying Roger Branson, I saw Mick with Ian Hunt and Jackson. God damn. Yeah, that's fucking sick. But yeah, we are very, very excited for these shows. And just a question, is it any use bringing chocolate with me to the shows of the last weekend in England? Or better not because you fly very soon after that? Oh, that's really that's very sweet of you. Um chocolate is cool. Thank you, and thank you for asking. That's actually very sweet. We'll bring it with to America. We need snacks on the road, so thank you. If you do bring, thank you. Um, oh, shit. Let's keep going in the cupboard. I gotta find some more, like, tour stuff. So, 
the one shoe of my sister's is like fucked up. Maybe she can get it, but that one's good. Um, let's see what we got in here. Sam hates these shoes of mine. These are like my grandma, like run around shoes. She hates them. <laughs> Everyone's got shoes that someone hates. She has a pair of Ugg boots. I hate them. I hate her Ugg boots. Um, and then we got the America boots that I do want to actually bring to the USA, as lame as that might be. And Lucha, what's up, what's up? I hope you're good. Um, are you at the airport? I hope that you're having a beautiful time, whatever it is that you're doing. And it's nice to see you on here. I got my llama and everything. And also, check it out. Wearing my earrings. Fucking love them. Uh, but yeah. So I hope you are safe and staying warm and feeling better. And let's see what else is happening here. Ugg boots, it gets worse. Daniel? So Sam, all of us have shoes that all like all of us do not like so my sister loves these and i would put them in the bin and throw away the key and like just like i wouldn't i wouldn't even donate them they're just ugly I, 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 they're horrible they're uncomfortable and they shit they do smell very nice though but they suck sam i kind of see her point she hates these shoes of mine she would also probably tell me to toss them but i like them because they're comfortable and then Sam has a pair of Ugg boots that comfortable they may be, they are disgusting. They are horrible. They're like so bad. Like really, really bad. And Bill saying Millie might have to put the high heels on, what? On to reach the top shelf. No, I just jump. I'll jump <laughs> if I have to. It was good to put a face to your name, Lucha. Ah, yes. Um, that's happening here. I'm trying to see here. Sorry, everybody. I'm trying to read all the comments and stuff. It looks so lovely on you. I, oh, well, thank you. I fucking love them. You're at the airport. God damn. Okay, well, I hope it's not too crazy there. Weirdly enough, flying on a Sunday, it's very busy. I thought Sundays were not busy days to fly, but they are apparently very busy. Uh, so what else have we got in here? I'm just trying to find, like, some tour shit. Got another, like, this kind of reminds me of Michael Jackson. I got the shoulder pads and shit. I really like it. And then this my sister got last year from Anna. It's really fucking cool. I dig it. And then what else do we have? I'm going to try like some of these military jackets, but I prefer the red. I just hope there's no fucking spider in here. Check this. Look how cool this is. I swear to God, that if there's a spider and I put this on, I'm going to hear some very bad language. Okay. So, been there. Pick this up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Any spider in here? Please, dear Lord, please, fuck no. Fuck it. Put this thing on. Yeah. I'm going to go out like this, man. Oh, it's actually very heavy. Really cool. Look at the details in there. But yeah, okay, wait, you can't really see. <laughs> I am doing the worst job, but it's because holding all this crap here on my hand. So these silver boots are coming up on the top. Coming out again. Oh, Lord, shit's coming down here. Um, what else do we have in here? It's like all this random shit. Got, like, these shoes. Some, oh my God, terrible lighting in there. Some likes those as well. What else? Oh, look, I found something interesting. Oh, okay. We'll have a raffle and then one of the super chatters, oh, this thing's twisting, is gonna win a flag. So someone from tonight's, um, oh my gosh. Oh my God, is gonna win this. I'm going to try and balance this to show you guys. Oh, Lord. Why is this thing being so difficult? I hope this whole camera thing doesn't fall. Okay. Check it. Party and health flag, and it's upside down. So this was from a few years ago on one of the tours. So someone from tonight's stream is going to win the flag. I'll... Tomorrow, ah, okay, we'll announce it tomorrow on the on the Monday Live. 
um, we'll do a raffle and one of the super chatters from today's stream will put it, your names in a hat and then we'll pick someone tomorrow and you win this. And we'll post it to you. <laughs> yeah, with a party and health flag. I remember when we toured Ireland, we had um, t-shirts that said party in hell with this devil's face. And there was this really sweet girl, she's like, oh, I'd love to buy your shirt, but my gran, she'd never let me in the house with it. Like, I can't even do her accent, but she was just like, it says party in hell, I can't do it. And oh my God, David, thank you. Thank you very, very fucking much. Okay, wait. Thank you, you're really fucking sweet. Like seriously, you, 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 like, we appreciate you so damn much, man. Thank you. Oh, that's on my shoulder. The angel you are. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Thank you very, very, very much. Now, what else can we find in this cupboard? We've got, um, let us see. This horrible beanie that Sam bought years ago. Actually, it's not that bad. It's not my favorite, though. It's a bit weird. No. Um, we have... Oh, look at this. Shame. This is so sweet. This was from Lance. So, it's a sweet little thing. It used to sing, but the only thing was the battery in it like, went a bit like wonky, and then it sounded demonic. Like, Hello. Like, it was actually scary. But we'll put a new battery in, it'll be good. Then we have some... Oh, my sister should wear her beanie again. Ooh. Um, oh, this is pretty sick. Oh, also, I just want to know. So, in the USA, this is a really fun closet. In the USA, um, will we be needing, like, mosquito sprays and shit? Um, is it all around the USA or is it only in like Florida and certain parts? Can anyone like enlighten me on, on all that stuff? And also thank you. Oh my God, Lucho. Thank you. I'm going to write your name over here. Thank you. So anyone that could enlighten me about the situation with mosquitoes in the USA for summer, please do. Because it gets bad in some countries. And yes, me is under the weather, under blankets, and passed out. <laughs> um, she will be, she'll be much better by tomorrow. I think she just needs to flat out rest. And, oh, well, thank you. Yes, tomorrow we're going to do our normal Monday live um, with acoustic music and everything. Hopefully our voices will be not so nasally and cloggy and shit, but I reckon we'll be good. And Johnny Andrews says, hey, everyone. Just so it pop up on my phone, so I thought I would say, hey, hey, what's up? And thank you. Nice to see you. Um, but yeah, so I'm just having a search through this cupboard of like stuff from some of our previous tours so that we can maybe reuse and, and make some cool new outfits out of them. And what else is happening here, man? Watch out for the shoe avalanche. Uh, that's happened to me before. I've whacked my head so many times. Psst, don't bug me. Um, oh my god. Shit. Well, Lucha, I hope the flight goes very sweet, and I hope that there are, like, not a lot of people on the flight so you can actually sleep properly across a few seats. Oh my god. And David, thank you. Well, it's always fucking great to see you. And also your kindness, like, thank you on another level. Like, thank you very, very much. Um, also, we just hope that we make you smile as much as you make us smile. It's always cool, like, seeing everyone. And when we see you guys in person, it's always fun because it's like you already, you already know our sense of humor and stuff from the live streams. What else do we got here? We have a weird bra thing that Sam attempted to make a few years ago. In all honesty, it's looking terrible. Let me just try this. It's upside down, first of all. I know, I know it's the right way. It looks so funny. Fucking hell. Oh, we can revamp that up. It's gonna be fun. And then we have... I don't know what this is. Look like a diaper. Dirty diaper. And what? Macro crypto, thank you. Thank you very fucking much. Wow, thank you. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm gonna write your name on this door too. Thank you. Write your name up on there too. Oh, thank you very, very much. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone's good. And Lucha, what? That'd be amazing really even. 11 unexpected comfortable hours. Yes, I love an empty flight, but it's very rare it happens, but you never know. Um, but I would melt if I saw you in person, put on the floor. Oh, that's so sweet. Well, thank you. But yeah, just the thing with us is what you see is what you get. So um, we are always happy to meet people from the live streams in person. I just spat when I spoke, lovely. Um, but yeah, the mosquitoes are bird sized here. So you can see them coming and duck. I'm only joking. Jeez, you had me going there. I was getting worried. In Italy, when we tour, you get tiger mosquitoes and they are horrible. They like just go for you relentlessly. So we need to check that out. And Rick, we definitely will come to Canada, most likely next year if we can. Um, let's see what else happening here. Everyone's speaking Dutch and Afrikaans. It makes me laugh because it's so similar to Afrikaans, but so different. And guys saying, and don't forget that even though it's going to be summer, bring warm clothes for the Rocky Mountain areas because it can be cold at night. Okay, sounds like South Africa. I oh, will remember that. Oh, these socks are terrible. Sometimes my sister's taste and shit. We have like very similar taste, but every now and again, we disagree. This, this sock is the color of poo. It might have glitter on it. That is a terrible color. No, that is just a no. And then what else do we have in here? Ooh, a nice pink top. <laughs> but wait, we need to find stage stuff. Need to find some stage stuff. Um, oh my god, fucking masks and the buffs from, you know, back in the day when no one could breathe. I just found this. I used this because I hated wearing the mask. It was very funny though. Um, what else is here? Just trying to find some stuff. Oh, look how cute this is. Someone made these for us. Tracy and Lucho. Oh my God. Muchas gracias. And thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to write your name again. Thank you. Okay, wait. I'm going to write your name on the store. Thank you. Ah, sorry about that. <laughs> so this, oh, it says me on this one. I think you can light it up. Okay, wait, let's check it out. Sorry for this. I'm trying to hold everything. Oh, here we go. Lights come on. Well, obviously, it would be better in the dark, but <laughs> it's pretty fucking cool. Turn that off. Put that back in there. Oh, okay. We have these. I don't know why. If someone maybe at one of these next shows is going to be getting dressed down into some granny pants. Hmm. We're gonna we're gonna have some fun, especially on Sunday, the theme show. Please dress up if you're oh, I'll come into their show. Hello. <laughs> I don't know why this camera is going everywhere. For fuck's sakes. Come on. Come on. I don't know what is going on here. Okay. Sorry about that. Goddamn fucking phone. Um what else do we have in here? Oh like a weird belt thingy. This is pretty sick. Uh, yeah, because when we go to the USA next month, it's going to be fucking crazy. Um, and it's pretty much like a show every day, except so one or two days to get between places. Um, but we're going to be on the road for most of it, and we have to find some very light clothing, because you can't exactly pack much. It's going to be fun. What else do we have in here? Got some scarves. Skirts? Oh, this was Sam's skirt. I love it. I'm bringing it out. And also, thank you. That's really, really sweet of you, Darren. Thank you. I will I will do that for my birthday. We're definitely having cake on that Sunday. Thank you. I will live stream as well, especially if everyone's dressed up. It will be so sick. My biggest wish, though, would be for um, the, our tour drummer to get his visa and 
like to be out on the road with us, it will be so fucking cool. That will make my whole birthday. Uh, because then I know it will be the show that you guys deserve to see because we'll be able to do like all all the songs, not just a few. Dear Swamp, thank you very much. And Edward's saying, would it be proper to throw vintage underwear on the stage? Oh my God, that would be fucking badass. I would love that. In London, someone actually threw a bra on the stage for at me, so I'm I'm so happy. That's so sick. Um, if someone threw like shit stained underwear, I mean accidents happen and that, but I'll just be like, wow, okay, thanks. What Death Valley is about the only area in the southwest that doesn't have mosquitoes, no water for them to breed. God damn. Okay, so we need to bring mosquito spray, and we need to get some like vitamins and stuff. Your voice sounds extra sexy today. Why, thank you. Uh, Frank, so down the door. No. <laughs> um, if only that show was on a Saturday, but hell is just too bloody far for me to get back to work. Uh, don't stress, Daniel. We will see you soon, though. But on the day before, though, you better celebrate like it is my birthday. So bring as much energy for Saturday as you can. Mosquitoes like humid locations. Yeah, so in Italy, there were a lot of fucking mosquitoes. When you get to Texas, watch out for biting bugs. Dude, what? Um, and also, I just so that I, I'm 100% on this, is it going to be a mostly dry heat? Or is it a very sticky, humid heat in the USA in summer? Like, especially, I'm talking about, like, Albuquerque and New Mexico and all those areas. Is, is that a very dry heat? And also, what is happening here, man? He used to throw joints at Jim Morrison. Um, I did a show in Austria and I was doing a backbend playing the bass on reel. And then there was this cool guy and he was the same level as me on the stage. It was a weird walkway stage because um, he was in a wheelchair and then he was smoking a joint and then I ended up smoking with him upside down. That was pretty fucking cool. Um, Brian says, anywhere on the east coast of England is always difficult to get to. East Coast. Why? What is that? Is it because so many people go there on holiday or what is it? Um, when I see your tour schedule for the USA, I ask myself what you're going to do, what you are doing to yourself. Crazy distances to be covered. Yeah. And like I said, Sam's doing all that. It's nuts. But I respect her so fucking much, man. Um, what else is happening here? I'm trying to read all the comments. Dry heat in June from El Paso to Las Vegas. Okay. Dry heat's actually a lot easier to deal with than the humid, like, sticky temperatures. I remember when we met Lucha and when we were in Florida, it was so fucking hot. I couldn't believe it. I always thought Americans were crazy um, for having air conditioning. Because South Africa, it's hot. But unless you're really rich, no one's got, like, air con. It's just weird. And... <laughs> We, we, like, we, no one, I don't know anyone who has air conditioning. We would all just start laughing. So when we went there and everyone had, like, their air conditioning on, I was like, what the fuck is up with Americans? You guys are fucking crazy. And then um, when we stepped out the car, I couldn't actually believe how hot and humid it was. Just standing and breathing, you just, wow, it was horrible. What, most of the main roads go north, south, east? go north south so east west is not so good oh shit air conditioning safe the southern usa i will not deny that that from my experience going there last year i agree i won't be that hell either it is far too far to swim oh my god <laughs> it was crazy hot and we were all already sweaty by 5 p.m i know as soon as we got out that damn car i was just like oh fuck but the cool thing was that the venue was air conditioned. So although you're already sweating on stage, it wasn't like like as bad as it could have been. So it was cool. So Albuquerque and Flagstaff dry, not even too hot. Oh, wicked. I'm glad, actually. You will get to experience every type of weather, even tropical hurricane monsoons and summer months. Damn. Okay, it's going to be interesting. And Bill saying, western states have dry heat and eastern into the Midwest are more humid. Shit, okay. It's good to know, though. Like, thank you. Because we have no idea until we drive into a place and then we're like, wow. 
we wish that we'd maybe known about this because this is crazy. Like in America to buy vitamin pills and things like that, it's very expensive from what we experienced. So we are going to stock up before we get to America <laughs> because I do not want to get sick and then have to go to a doctor or buy medication that's expensive. Damn. Um, what South Florida gets very hot, but you have the ocean breeze. Ah, okay, okay. It's mostly humid in Iowa and Nebraska. Air conditioning is not a luxury. Gotta have it. No, no, for sure. That I understand. It's just coming from Africa. We, like, it's different for us. So we were just like, what the hell? But I understand why you guys have it. And it makes a lot of sense. And Dwayne Gibson, thank you. More right your name. Thank you very, very much. Hold up. Let me write this like this. Oh, where am I writing this? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna. All right. So here we go. Ça va, Sam? Why don't you vene? Please. Ah, uh, shame. I w Sam. Sam would come up on the live stream, but she's really like not not good. She's really like fucked. Um, like if my sister was like not as fucked and like as ill as she is, then I would have tried to like wake her up, but I, ca I can't do that. Like, I just know she really needs the rest. In the 90s, we had a Dutch speed skater, Rinke Ritzma, who was very popular with girls. After his races, what? He got bombarded with ladies' underwear. Oh my god, that's fucking funny. That's hilarious. Imagine the like someone throwing underwear and then the guy's like, yeah, these smell great. Who who threw these ones, man? <laughs> Not saying Millie, I've had your live stream on since I got the notification earlier. Come watch, I'll do it later. Oh well, thank you. I hope you're having a beautiful day and thank you very, very much. Um let's see what else is happening here. You may need to put your safety ahead of your human hum humanitarian work while in southern Texas. Huge influx of new visitors, so to speak. Oh, shit. Shit. Okay. Thank you for the heads up. Damn. Um, the good news, the moisture will be great for your beautiful skin. Why, well, thank you. Actually, no. My hair is very crazy. And I did a very dumb thing and I brushed it. Which, if you have curly hair, just makes it go like a frizz frizz bomb so when i go to the usa i'm gonna be wearing my wig because otherwise i'm gonna have hair going like like a crazy wild beast everywhere it's gonna look so funny but it's gonna be bad um sam is the best amazing awesome one. Oh, she is and thank you i really do agree but yeah, we're so fucking looking forward to seeing everyone. Everyone that's been going to the show, thank you. We really appreciate it, especially um, because, like I said, this tour started out mad. And in South Africa, the power outages are just getting worse and worse. So we are really grateful to be out on the road. Um, our brother's there. That sucks for him. It's really shit. But we are just thankful to be out on the road. We just can't wait for... Like, you know when bad things happen and then it balances it out and, and things start going more smoothly? I'm I'm excited for that bit to happen. Um, Yeah. What can't say anyone's ever thrown underwear at me, thankfully? Oh, my God, Daniel. Fine, at the shows. Everyone, take your underwear, throw it at Daniel there. <laughs> yeah, just says some. Tina Turner, hair from the 80s, glam. Ooh. I am a huge Tina Turner fan. I think she she has my favorite voice of all time. I think she is out of this world and she's fucking cool. If I had hair as cool as Tina Turner, I would fucking be happy. She's awesome. Um, what? When the air is very hot, the cooler temperatures are near the ground. Oh, shit. That is one of the reasons little kids run around so fast. The air is better. That's actually crazy. Is that really true? Because that is nuts. And David, thank you. Sam, David said his love and he says, get better. David, Sam says, thank you. She says she's never felt so ill in her life. Yeah. Um, it's bad. I'm just grateful that I'm feeling a lot better. 
I'll ask my mother if she wants to get rid of some old undies. Rock on. I love all that vintage shit. Um, like, you know, the underwear from the 1940s, 50s, 60s. I love all that. Um, let's see what else is happening. The only thing, um, that happened once, I bought vintage underwear. And, ugh, I don't know, they'd been worn, but, like, they should have probably been washed. And I don't know why they were selling them. I was just like, oh. And I'd bought them before I saw they were really used. It was not good. It was not good at all. But okay, so thank you everyone for going through this cupboard with me. And we've got some boots that we will be adding to the tour as well. So these cool sparkle boots um, for the USA, maybe these ones as well. They're really long though. They make me laugh. Like on video, it doesn't look so like high. These are fucking high. And tomorrow we're going to do the raffle. So everyone on here, on the door over here, you guys, we on the Monday live tomorrow, we will do a raffle. And then the winner is going to win this Party in Hell flag. Party in Hell tour flag. It's going to be cool. And we'll announce the winner tomorrow. And again, everyone, thank you so fucking much like for your support and like for your energy and everything in the usa we're gonna live stream as much as possible as well and this week we will try and live stream too tomorrow definitely the devil oh my god <laughs> yeah we ne we will never not live stream even if it seems impossible and the wi-fi is glitching we'll make a plan we'll do it um let's see what else happening here millie is now coming out of the closet oh my god hans um, Hans, I've always been out, sweetie. Always been out. Um, what else is happening here? We have this jacket that I'm going to be bringing out too. And the boots. Sam, yeah. do you think we should wear the USA boots? Yeah. And I found Nomi's disgusting jelly shoes. <laughs> My sister fucking makes me laugh. No, miss, of us. Yeah, you have plan the tunnel, Sam. Oh, Lord. Okay. And then we've got these boots as well that we're going to bring out as well. I fucking love them. Um, and what else is happening here? Sam, I'll turn second. You can go so long and I'll be there, Sam. Please. Uh, I just want to find something here. Oh, this is pretty cool. One of those, like, soft baby towels. Um, there's nothing worse also when you're playing in a hot place. And then it's really cool that it's happening because it means that the show is going wild and you're sweating. But when you sweat so much that you try to pick up your guitar and it just slips and you're like, fuck, that's horrible. And Jono, I'm good, thank you. I'm recovering from a really nasty flu, but I'm feeling a lot better today. My sister is out cold and Sam's also just, like, fucked. But otherwise, we're getting we're getting ready for the next shows and for the USA. But otherwise, good, and I hope you're good too. Um, let's see what else is happening here, man. Uh, let's see what is happening here. Jelly shoes, people still wear those. Edward, unfortunately, yes. I mean, we all have, you know, ugly shoes. Like when I say ugly shoes, shoes that like people would laugh at. Like some people wear Crocs and people are like, what the hell? But you know, they're comfortable. Like, these are my grandma's shoes that Sam absolutely hates. And every time I try to buy another pair and another color, she's like... But, hey. But these. These. Oh. Dude, it's like... It's like a Jesus sandal on steroids. It's disgusting. I hate them. Um, me doesn't use Crocs. I'll admit something, though. We both used to. Did you? I'm ashamed. <laughs> the, I'll find a photo one day. We used to wear Crocs, pink ones. I'm ashamed. I think we stopped wearing them when someone came up to us and they were wearing Crocs and they were like, Croc on. And we were like, yeah, we need to not ever wear these again. <laughs> um, and also, thank you. I'll pass on your regards to Sam Darren. Um, but yeah, let's see what else. These comments, the red military jacket is great. It is fucking cool. The only thing is, 
I don't know, because it's like really old and vintage and it's heavy as hell. This definitely weighs over a kilo. Um, I don't know if I could hand away that on stage. Beautiful pink shoes. Eric, are you blind? Wait, are you talking about these ones? Eric, Eric, no, come on. They're terrible. Okay, Lucho, thank you for like agreeing. My sister, I don't know what it is, her fascination with those shoes, they're bad. I mean, these are my ugly shoes, but those, those ones, uh-uh. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry to diss shoes, but like, mm -mm. I've worn shoes and I looked back at myself and I was like, man, what the fuck were you thinking? But at least I knew that they were bad. When my sister wear them jelly shoes, she does not know that they're bad. And I'm like, dude, how? But it, it makes her happy. And David's saying, I hope to make the stream tomorrow if I get home in time. Okay, well, um, hmm. we'll try to stream a little bit longer tomorrow. Um, like, so that's, like, we do get, we hope we get to see you. But we are excited to see everyone again tomorrow on the stream. And my sister will be on that one as well. And kept in the burp, sorry about that. But yeah, nothing wrong with the pink shoes. Hans, if you guys, if you guys are talking about these, Dutch people? Wow, you guys, eh? You, you, you and Eric, what the fuck? You guys are blind, man. No, no, no. It's a terrible. <laughs> Drunk Chef Jeff saying, every act in the movie, Idiocracy, wore Crocs because they were cheap, looked futuristic, and the producers figured they were so ugly they'd never be mainstream fashion. Well, I'm not being rude, but I've seen some footwear, and they're like, huge brands and stuff and they look i'm all for like you know having like an individualistic style nut but they look so bad and i'm shocked that people wear them but again each to their own same with the crocs that is a great jacket for like two minutes and take it off yeah for sure definitely millie a band that has cool bass lines oh i'll check that out thank you I don't think your grandma's are ugly, at least. No, compared to the jelly ones. Thank you. But these these are like, I don't know, like my my sensible, my sensible shoes, you know? Walking around, you know? <laughs> I do feel like an old grandmama in them. Um, Hans, you won't wear those at your first gig. I can promise you that. Oh my God. Maybe wants my Yamaha bass, the green machine. <sighs> hmm. I like it, but I'm not going to lie, Jono. I think the only basses that I will ever play until the day I die are Ibanez Destroyer basses. So as much as yours is fucking epic, I don't think I'll ever play another kind of bass on stage again. I'm just going to say till the day I die, Ibanez Destroyer through and through. But yours is fucking badass. But I will admire it from afar. But on stage, Destroyers all the way. Um, Let's see what else is happening here. You need to play the yellow one. The yellow de Ivanes Destroyer is fucking badass. I love Destroyer bases. What Crocs or Sam's Moon Boots? It's a toss up. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go for the Ugg Boots over the Crocs. But it's very close. Very, very close. Very close. <laughs> oh my God. Um, I'm going to say goodbye for now, but we will see you tomorrow. And I just want to say again, everyone, thank you so much for joining in on the stream. I can't believe the time fucking flew. And everyone, for the super chats, we are going to do a raffle and someone is winning this party in hell tour flag with the devil on it. It's huge. Um, and you can even turn it into a dress or kilt if you want. Those gray shoes look fantastic. Thank you. Sam hates them. Even my sister's like, damn, dude. But her jelly shoes are worse, so. Um, when you're in Stoke, I'm coming along. Ah, oh, that's so sick, okay. Um, Daniel saying, those aren't grandma shoes. My grandma suddenly never wore anything like that. I, don't, I have been shocked. <laughs> no, that trust me, they're grandma shoes. I don't want to change the world by Ozzy. Has the best intro bass line. My favorite bass line of all time, though, is... Um, the song My Own Summer or Shove It by the Deftones. I love um, Chi Chang's bass playing. But yeah, and good evening, everybody. And again, thank you so fucking much. I feel a lot better. I felt like shit like before the stream, like just half dead. So thank you. Um, Gar saying an experiment was done where shoes from 
Payless shoes were repriced 10 times higher and sold as high-end designer shoes. People bought them off like crazy. Well, yeah, again, it's perception, man. Um, people are crazy. It's the same with energy drinks. Look how fucking wild people are going over that one called Prime. I mean, for fuck's sakes. But anyway. And Lucho, te amo always. And look at these. I got them with me. Um, thank you so fucking much. And huge stuff from all of us. And also, Mike, thank you, guys. Um, Bootsy Collins fucking rocks. Oh, you got it there, Rick. Mm-hmm. I love his style and his bass playing. And Hans, thank you. I'll pass on everyone's regards. Um, and also, thank you, Dwayne. Seriously. And Lucha, I hope your flight is as fucking sweet and restful as possible. But so, yes, I'm going to say one more thank you to everyone on here. So we got Willie Woodthorpe, we got Brian Gunter, we got David Smay, we got Hans, Rich Signorelli, got Neely, Dwayne Nixon, Dale Lammerman, Samuel B, we got Masaru Kikuchi, we got Bill B, Daniel Fuller, we got Roger Branson, Steve Johnson, Paul Absent, we got Odaz, we got Lucho, we got Darren Swan, we got Eric Bucker, Drunk Chef Jeff, Georgina, She Sees Sheep, Macro Crypto, we got Edward Pritchett, we got Dwayne Gibson, Frank Sabia, and the alien. But again, everybody, thank you. Seriously, thank you very, very much. Um, let's see what else is happening here, man. Or well, getting people talking so you can raise your spirit. That is true, actually. That is very true. It's the same um, before we got on stage, like we were really ill these last few shows. And like, as soon as we get on stage, then it's crazy, even if you felt like you wanted to just go to a hospital and get put on an IV drip and like just pass out, um, you actually feel alive on stage. And then after like the show is over and then you're like dead again, but it's the energy, so thank you. Um, now let's see what's happening here. I know you have, have to go, but please don't go. Uh, Kevin, I have to go, but we will be back on tomorrow. I really do have to go though. And Rick, thank you. What's happening here? Send hugs. I will indeed. And David, I just want to say thank you. Thank you very, very fucking much, man. Like, seriously, thank you. And here's love right back at you from all of us. Everybody, we'll see you. And Roger, thank you. And Lucho, have a kick-ass flight. And Daniel, thank you very much. See you soon. I'm sure you'll be better by then. We all going to stay hydrated. Keep your fingers and toes crossed. Remember, hot water, lemon, honey, ginger. If you're really brave, go for garlic and a bit of whiskey. But if not, you know, stay well. And Dwayne Nixon, thank you again. Everyone, like, thank you. We're going to go and buy vitamins and stuff. And, like, thank you. Thank you so fucking much. See you guys tomorrow. And Summer will be, thank you. Oh, turmeric. It's one of the best ones ever. Turmeric and black pepper and whiskey. Okay, everybody, I'm going to run. Thank you, and we will do the raffle tomorrow, and we will have an acoustic Monday. Thank you so fucking much. We absolutely love you guys. Thank you. I love you guys, and I really appreciate you, and thank you. Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow. I love how I'm waving. I'm like, who's waving at me? I'm a bit loopy. But anyway, um, what? Hasta mañana, Mili. I'll definitely tune in. Oh, my God. Okay, muchas gracias, and hasta mañana. Good night, Brian, and thank you. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Y'all come back now here. Bye, and thank you. Bye, Daniel. Bye, everyone.